how to improve endothelial health and what are the most harmful foods and habits. anything that causes prolonged hyperglycemia, too much blood sugar, or anything that causes too much insulin. By far, those are the most common things. You can see other things too. Some people with FH, you know, with these LDL levels of 300, that can cause some inflammation. Rheumatoid arthritis. Most people are aware of that disease, but they don't know that it causes as much risk for heart attack and stroke as diabetes. Why? Because it's an inflammatory disease. Other inflammatory diseases like psoriatic arthritis, those are a big deal as well for heart attack and stroke. And how? Because they damage the endothelium. But for the vast majority of us, 80% of us, it's aging or getting too much body fat to the point to where we are routinely having too much insulin or too much glucose in our blood. So Rose is saying sugar's a problem. She's also saying so is saturated fat. I will tell you, Rose, take a look at our videos, the book on the big fat surprise by Nina Teicholt. But you can say, well, she's not a scientist. She's a reporter. She's actually not a bad scientist. And her book, stimulated a lot more research into saturated fat, including some really good meta-analyses, which are really throwing into question just how bad is saturated fat? Maybe it's not as bad as you think. Sugar is a carb. There's no question about it. Again, I tend to see more risk in most American diets from complex carbs like bread, which brings up a really good point. And you see that in the ADA diet, eat whole grains. Look at the glycemic value of whole grain versus white bread. Everybody understands that white bread's bad for you. The glycemic value of whole grain bread is almost the same. For both of them, it's higher than sugar. So be aware, think about it. If I take the prolon diet, uh, Walter Longo's diet, which has been proven to be helpful because it can decrease body fat, which helps drive this problem. But my blood sugar will spike on the Walter Longo prolon diet. Even though it's not heavy carbs, it's enough carbs and more than anything else, like the tomato soup, these soups are highly processed. In other words, the vegetable carbs in them have been ground down to a tiny amount. Therefore, all the surface for these complex carbs is available immediately when it hits your stomach and your bloodstream. And so I'll get spikes of 180. I've demonstrated that on video. It's a simple carb. Yeah, sugar does pour right into your system. So it's a problem. Beans and vegetables do not. That's not true, Rose. Again, take a look, eat to the glucometer, eat beans, eat lentils, and see what they do to your blood sugar. Beans and potatoes will raise your blood sugar dramatically.